Yo, I'm Jeff and this is Mini Garage. So we're uh, out here in the garage today, kind of slamming and jamming, trying to get this uh, little Mazda B ready for a show. We're gonna take it kind of as is and uh, show off some of the stuff we've done. But one thing Cobb wants to do before we take it is get his uh, legacy sliding rag thrown in. So what's that? 40. Oh, 40 by 40, yeah. It's the 40 by 40 Mazda rag that Legacy makes. So we're gonna cut a hole in the roof of this some bitch and, and let her fly. So follow along as we uh, get ready to go. So we're gonna open this box up and see what all's inside. It's heavily stapled. That's, that's good. We know, we know nobody's been, oh, you tore the box. You're constantly abusing the box, Cobb. Good job. Your job. So in the box was two bubble wrap pieces. So we're getting all these pieces out and lined up and Cobb says so far, he knows he, we're gonna need it. a bunch of masking tape. Look at the sheer, uh, what do you call that? He's focused. All right, now we got our frame kind of just together, just loosely. So what are we doing next, Cobb? Flipping it over. Flipping it over, all right. So where are you at, Cobb? Figuring out where to mark. All right, so you've got tape, it taped up top, so you know where you want it. Is that kind of how that's going? Roughly. Roughly. And then why are you inside the truck? I look at what's inside the truck. All right. And is it easier to mark from inside or outside? Inside. Inside. Why is that? There's reference points inside. Okay. So get to marking. So after lots of measuring and measuring and measuring some more, we got our 37 inch long and 36 inch wide uh, lines marked out. We're ready to start cutting. Cobb, was it a lot of figuring? A lot of figure, figuring. Yeah, a lot of figuring. Well, after we got it all measured out, now we're gonna drill a pilot hole and a couple of holes here in the corners as per the destructions. And so that you want the rounded corners and that's uh, what we're doing, is just drilling holes for the pilots and um, so that they'll have rounded corners. Now we step up to a little bigger bit, go back through the pilot hole. time now we'll get the jigsaw start making some cuts so yeah I, I'd go the hard way first if you think the side cuts are easy go the hard way first cut right along that tape edge the blade break did the blade break or did it fall out? I'll try this again.
see it come out. There's a hole. There's a hole. No going back now. So now we got the frame sitting here. We still have, we got to take these bolts back out. But why did we have to put it together? To make sure it was square and to get the correct measurements. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll take the frame back apart and uh, start drilling some holes. Let there be light, Cobb. So we got a bunch of holes drilled and we're starting to line them up. Um, took a little bit of massaging to get it where we wanted it, but I'm pretty happy with it so far. We'll uh, get all of it bolted in and uh, let you know what we think. Well, still have a couple bolts to put in, but it's in. Well, Cobb, sliding rags in. What do you think? More work. More work. Was it worth it? Was this one? Yet. Huh? I don't know yet. What do you mean? You haven't driven it yet? No, not yet. Okay. Well, there's room for you in there. There's plenty of room. All right. And then there's some, there's a close. Like I said, we got a couple more bolts tightened down, but that's the gist of it. Well, I'm glad uh, you got to watch us put in a legacy sliding rag for the first time. If you want one, they do make them in more than just the 40 by 40. They make them in all kinds of sizes. Go to legacy. Is it, what is it? It's not legacy? No. I thought it was. Mm -hmm. Cobb says it's not. Sunroofsource.com. Sunroofsource.com is where he got his. All right, till next time, Mini Garage, we out. Peace.